Hello, this is a short video to demonstrate A24 or automatic reset trapping on the NRDS INA mobile app. So I've already downloaded my app, I've installed it. The first thing I'm going to do before I go out in the field or before I do any trapping is I'm going to come over here to this, the menu and I'm going to fetch data. So I click this fetch data from web app button and it goes and it grabs all my data from the server and it puts it on my local device. So depending on how much data you have, this uh, might take, take a couple of uh, seconds or so. And once the data has been fetched, it's local and you can take it out in the field. So it tells me I successfully pulled in a bunch of features. So these are my, my trap locations and it also tells me I've pulled in a bunch of uh, past trap data. So I click OK. And if I'm going to go offline, this works great if you're online, but if you're going to go offline, you can switch this to offline mode. Once you go out of service, it'll switch automatically. Now the next thing I, I want to be able to do is I, I'm going to add a new trap. So you can see um, my blue dot button is hiding under an existing trap that I just made. So I'm going to click this button on the right and I'm going to click auto reset trap. I'm going to uh, name my trap. If I have a, um, like a barcode scanner, if I have a QR code on a trap, I can actually scan that or I can type in my name too. So I'm going to uh, click this button and I'm going to see scan a, a barcode and it'll name the trap for me. And then I can add photos of the trap, give it a trap group, save the trap. And once I save trap, uh, on the bottom, an add check button will show up. So I click add check. I can say it's a new trap. I can put my name in. If you set this up correctly on the back end, um, your name will automatically be associated with the user that's logged in. I can select multiple baits and you know I can fill in all my data. I can put the number of bodies found. All of these fields can be customized and they can be hidden as well. There's some validation in here, so if I click Save and my form isn't fully filled out, well, first it's going to warn me about um, the fact that I put that I have uh, captures. Save, telling me I need to put captures. So I scroll down to this capture section, put the number of captures, and now when I save, it's going to warn me that the number of captures should be equal to the sum of captures. So that's because over here, for bodies found, I put one, so it should be two. So it matches the number of capture. And it's also warning me that I have fields that are not filled. So once I click Save, it takes me back to my menu. This is red, which means it hasn't been synced yet. So the other way to look up an existing trap is on my map, I can click on the trap and it'll pop up a little detail window where I can then either click on the name of the trap and then scroll down and click check or I can click check and that'll just pop open my check form for me. I can also search for the name of the trap on the search menu and it'll take me to an existing trap. Or I can come down here to Features, I can click Auto Reset Traps, and it'll give me a list of the traps in order based on distance away from me. And I can do the same thing. I can zoom to a trap, or I can click on the trap and scroll down and add a check to it. If I wanted to see which traps I've checked, there's going to be a green or red check mark next to the trap you've checked today. I can also go to this Work menu. I can click Auto Reset Traps and I can see a list of traps I checked in the order that I checked them. I can also change the name of the order. I can sort by date added or um, whatever's in the top. So that's just a quick overview of adding a trap and checking a trap. Now once I've uh, collected all my trap data and I want to push my data back to the server, I come over here to my menu and I click push to web app. I'm in offline mode, so first I need to switch to online mode, and then I push. And that'll take all the data from your local device and send it over to the server. If you get any errors or any warnings, it'll pop up and you can deal with them. But here we go, successfully entered, successfully synced.
please let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.